Oh, she's getting her vaccine, her second dose. <laughs> Thank you. And my day. It's going to be a long day. Hey guys, look what I found. I was wondering where this was at. There we go, guys. So we are exactly halfway on pod number one. So what I may do is put a mattress right in front of it. I have a queen mattress that I can strap down to hold all that stuff back there. Good morning guys. So it's like the fourth day that I've been packing and I'm gonna show you the pots later today. But uh, the house is coming along. I've cleared quite a few rooms. This is the uh, the grandchildren's room. As you can see, everything's gone. Closets are empty. Uh, we still have a couple of things on this bedroom. It's a little dark in here. All the lamps are gone. Uh, closets are mostly empty. Yeah, this one as well. This room's mostly empty. I just have to pack. A few things out of the closet and I haven't seen this in a couple of years this was my Navy uniform the last time I wore it about uh, six seven years ago I stored it here I have my blues and a bunch of jackets that I have forgotten about suits so yeah Everything's coming along nicely. Second pot is gone.
Well, good morning again, guys. So right after I flew the drone at the park uh, at Cooper River, so I went to the gym and I'm back now, back at the house, and I'm gonna show you what I normally snack on right after the gym. So it's about 10:30 uh, in the morning, Sunday morning. for a glass or a cup of kombucha and an apple. Now the other day I went to the store and bought some chips. So I hope my wife doesn't find out because she thinks they're bad for me. Yeah, so that's normally what I do right after a workout at the gym. So I'm gonna take my apple, finish my kombucha in, in the office. And I have to show you, there are no pots anymore. They're gone, they left yesterday. See? I could probably park about 10 cars up here now. Empty, empty. So all the pods are on the way to Galway, New York, upstate. And uh, well, actually they're gonna put them in storage for the next uh, few weeks until I'm ready to close on the 20th of August. Uh, but let me show you the house a little bit. Most of the stuff is gone, but some of the things like this, I could not fit into the pods. We have way too many things. Uh, I had to get rid of quite a few things. And I still feel like we have way too many. We packed those pods completely. This is one of the uh, kids' rooms. This is my office. Yeah, it pretty much looks the same as it was before, but there's a few things I could not fit. Like I said earlier, um, I couldn't fit my shredder. I couldn't fit my second TV or my chairs. Now, nor my monitors or uh, scanner printer and computer. But this uh, desk is going to stay. Um, either that or I'm just going to have to give it away. Let me show you upstairs. Alright. Way more organized than it was before. Everything's gone except uh, a couple of items. Now this is my suitcase. This is where I'm gonna keep all my clothes for the next couple of weeks. Uh, when I move out of here in a few days, I am going someplace else, not New York, because I still have a few things to, to do here in the area. And there's my closet, it's empty. And I'm gonna show you where I'm sleeping now. I'm sleeping on the floor on an air mattress because uh, I packed, uh, yeah, we uh, loaded the bed a couple of days ago. So yeah, there's a few items here that I'm gonna take up to New York in my car or on my wife's vehicle when she comes down uh, to sign on closing date. And my backyard is relatively clean. I cut the lawn yesterday, but check out my banana plants. Wow, no, we gotta go down there now. I gotta show you. But guys, remember last year when I planted kale? still here it didn't die off and swiss chard 
I thought they were gonna die off and I mowed over this sometime last fall, but yeah, they came back up. So check it out. These are my banana plants. Wow. They're like, uh, I don't know, seven, seven foot tall, seven feet tall. Oh, check it out. I, I am taking some of these uh, to upstate New York. Uh, I already uh, took three small plants, but I think I'm gonna take some more. Wow, isn't that amazing? I think, I estimate I have about, I don't know, maybe, let me see. I have about six, six or seven plants in there. And a lot of baby ones are coming up from, uh, from the base. You see that? Yeah, if you ever want to make pasteles, hit me up. I'll send you some leaves. All right, guys, so it's time for me to make dinner. I can't cook. And you guys know that I've recorded every one of my wife's cooking videos. And she has about 415, 415 videos. And I still can't remember how to cook a basic meal. So what I do is I, I have been making myself a salad and uh, let's go do that now all right guys so this is what i'm making today barbecue ranch chopped salad kit so it contains everything you need for the salad so let me get started i'm just gonna pour it all into this bowl And the kick has these chips, uh, pieces of ham, salad dressing, and barbecue flavoring. So I'm gonna start with the ham. Little pieces of chips. Ranch dressing. And barbecue flavoring. Now, one other thing I add is light tuna and water. I will also add a few black olives. Now I'm gonna go ahead and mix it up. Mm -mm. And I'm gonna take it to my room, to my office, and I'm gonna finish it there. All right, so this is pretty much what I do every other day, but sometimes I get tired of salads and I go to restaurants, local restaurants, fast food restaurants, so I'll go to uh, Kentucky Fried Chicken, uh, Panera Bread, and a couple of other places in the area. All right, uh, so dinner is done, and I wanted to mention that my father and sister today, at this very moment, they're in the studio. They're recording their new album. I am told they're gonna, there's gonna be 12 songs in this new album. It's Musica Hivara, Musica Tipica. And I was there two years ago when we recorded the, uh, the last one. And due to the pandemic, uh, they weren't able to record anything last year. And he's there with his, uh, with his band, with his crew. And the album should be available sometime in late September, if not early October. But uh, Eric, Eric Valentin, is, he's one of the uh, chorus members. He just sent me a couple of pictures and I'm about to show you. All right, so here, my father and sister are in the uh, sound booth. They're recording the vocals. This is the uh, bass player. Here's the bongo player. Here's Manuel Baez, he's the uh, guitarist. And I've interviewed Manuel Baez uh, a couple of years ago. Uh, you can uh, check him out in one of my videos. And here's my cousin, Orlando Viruet. He is the, um, he is the cuatro, cuatro player. 
and he he plays a mean quattro. Uh, he does he didn't play on my father's last album, uh, but he did play on the one before, and he does play excellent. Uh, here is the uh, the Guido, the Guido guy. I forget his name. And my father is inside the booth here with my sister singing at that moment. And this is Eric. This is Eric Valentin. He is uh, a friend of the family. He sung, he sung on quite a few uh, records of my father. And he is right now where the engineer normally sits. Uh, the studio is in Aguada. And yeah, Eric, uh, he just, like I said, he just sent me these pictures. And I know this album is going to be excellent. And as soon as the album comes out, I'm going to share that with you guys. Mm -hmm.